Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo Leon and I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager here at Level Aviation. And I am Ananda Leon, I'm the Software Engineer at Level Aviation and today we are going to calibrate. Calibrate the bomb. The bomb. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We're going to go through all the steps uh, to go to calibrate your bomb if uh, this is the first time you, you're you flying with a bomb or if you are switching a bomb to another airplane or uh, you bought a bomb from a friend. So, the first thing we need, uh, if this is a first time installation, is we need to cage the horizon. Okay. In case there was some error in the installation and you're flying, you know, the bomb is pitched up or whatever. So, first thing is uh, fly the airplane straight at, in level. All right, level let's do one. it. So we're adjusting to our altitude right here, and I just opened my level aviation app, which we already have it connected to the bomb. And we have our altimeter settings, so uh, all set up, so let's go ahead and level up right about here. All right, I'm just gonna add the traffic view here to make sure we don't have any traffic coming. Perfect. All right, so we are good now on that. Oh, Perfect. Okay. All right, so we are level up, and then I'm assuming we have to open now our... Um, you can do it on this screen, so let's do it here. Right here, settings, right? No, we have to go to... Go to device configuration. Device configuration. Perfect. And now you're going to enter the password, which is essentially the serial number of your bomb. All right, which is 1689. Right. So that's where I found it, right? Yeah. 1689. Done. Okay, now you have access to all the configuration. You have two tabs here, the general configuration and the bomb configuration. So if you go to bomb configuration. All right. Uh, the first step, it says, number one, horizon adjustment, uh, adjustment and kick. So when you think you're straight and level and at cruising speed, just click on cage. And you're going to see your horizon is pretty much... Uh, it's almost level, it's yeah. Almost I level. see it right here compared to the uh, horizon on the airplane. And I feel like I'm level right now, so I'm just going to click cage, right? Yep. And it says cage successful, and your horizon is going to be cage. So essentially, if you had some installation errors, now you're going to see the horizon at zero. Zero roll and zero pitch. Um, okay. And that's it. Now, step two is the angle of attack calibration. The bomb from the factory comes uncalibrated. Basically, if you... Uh, I'm going to open a new window here so we can see our angle of attack. There you go. Um, if, if the bomb is uncalibrated, you're probably going to have a little red X. Uh, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to go here to general configuration. If this is a bomb that was previously calibrated and you're switching to another airplane and you want to do this process, we always recommend to go to general configuration, do a restore defaults. This will uh, remove the previous calibrations for AOA, so now you see the red X in there. This is how it would show if you're just getting a brand new bomb. Perfect. Uh, so now we have technically a uncalibrated unit, so we probably have to do our caging again, right? Yes. Perfect. So we go back to cage. We're flying straight a level, right about there, and cage. Cage successful. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so, okay, so for... For angle of attack calibration, essentially, we want you to fly uh, to your stall speed a little bit faster than your stall speed to do this maneuver. So we recommend you bring a buddy, uh, like co-pilot, okay. for you, because the pilot is going to be trying to hold your your stall speed, uh, and then your co-pilot can help you do the calibration. You can do it on your own, but for safety for measurements. Uh, we recommend to do Just this. Just bring a body, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and so, what we're going to be doing is we're, we're um, what what is your stall speed? For, for Perfect. So one of the quick the, one of the questions that we get is, do we calibrate the bomb with? Uh, flaps up or flaps down. Um, I always tell people the depending where you're going to use it the most. Most people use it while landing. Uh, so while you're landing, you obviously have, obviously have flaps down since the bomb doesn't have a way to memorize uh, whether the flaps are down or not. So I'm going to calibrate the bomb with flaps down because that's when I think I'm going to uh, use it the most or take the most advantage of the angle of attack indicator. Okay. So I have my uh, checklist right here and. Uh, so with my stall speed with flaps down is uh, 46. 40, 46. 46 knots. Okay. So the idea of this maneuver or calibration process is that you're going to fly at 85% of your stall speed. So what you're going to do is multiply that 46 knots times 1.15. And that is 53. If you if you if you see on the uh, on our level aviation app, it's going to tell you uh, angle of attack calibration. It says enter calibration points, which is calibration point speed your stall speed times one point one five. So we put which is uh, forty six times one point one five is fifty three. So we're just going to put fifty three. All right, and I don't hit calibrate yet, right? You don't do anything yet. So okay. the uh, the idea is that you're gonna fly to 53 knots and hold it, hold those 53 knots, and then you're gonna click this calibrate AOA. Okay, perfect. So, so si since you have an awesome uh, co-pilot, <laughs> I will click on the calibrate AOA. Perfect. When you tell me I'm at 53 and we should be able to see AOA H here, and then we can uh, uh, practice some stall maneuvers and see how the AOA works. Perfect. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a quick uh, 180. I'm going to now head to the north. So we don't get into some air spaces that we have down there. One of the things um, to keep in mind is that this calibration must be done in knots, um, and it must be done with a, uh, a reference, a speed indicator. Okay. okay. So when when you're gonna when you're going to 53 knots, you should actually be following your main uh, uh, airspeed, airspeed indicator. indicator. Okay. Because we, the bomb hasn't been uh, optimized for the speed. It, there might be, depending on the installation, if the bomb, let's say, it's too far behind and there's a low pressure under the wing, the, the Peter reading is going to be off a little bit. So when we do this AOA calibration, we're actually doing two calibrations. Okay. We're calibrating the AOA, but we're also measuring the difference between... 53 knots and what the bomb is actually saying. Okay. So it's important that you fly to 53 knots on your primary uh, gate. And then if the bomb says, for example, that it's flying at 50 knots, you have a three knot offset and this will be applied to the bomb. So Perfect. we're going to be, so follow your primary gauge, not the bomb uh, readout for the airspeed. All right, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure myself for a slow fly. I have done a clear in turn so all of our uh, area is clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow the airplane down. All right, just like we were going to simulate a, uh, a landing, let's say. All right, so I'm going to get to my uh, white arc right here. And I start pulling flaps down. I'm going to pull up the traffic uh, view so you have that. Perfect, thank you. All right. Perfect. So we are reducing our speed now, and now we're going to go down to 53, right? 53. 
All right, perfect. Slowing the airplane down. Perfect, we are at 55 now. All right, one second. All right, perfect, we are at 53 right now. Okay. So we just hit calibrate. Calibrate, go in, so now you have a, a working AOA game. This this uh, 85 uh, percent line is where the red will start. Okay. So 53, you know, it should be uh, should be there. So now you can. That's it. I mean, that's all the calibration. That's all the required. calibration process. <laughs> now you can test some. Uh, <laughs> now I can see my airspeed. We're right now 75. Yeah, we see that right there, 75. We are matching our airspeed now, which it wasn't uh, doing that before. Uh, so that's a good thing. Our bomb is now calibrated. Perfect. Now, what about these optional adjustments? Let me do uh, the traffic here. Um, okay, so let's say you went through the calibration and uh, you have an offset in the altitude. We, we, we can calibrate the airspeed when you do the AOA calibration, if there's some offsets, as you saw. Okay. Um, but the altitude might be a little bit off, depending on the installation. So you have optional adjustment windows to offset for the altitude and the airspeed. Okay. So you can check. The first thing is to make sure the altimeter setting on your app and the altimeter setting on your um, altimeter <laughs> uh, match. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's go doing another 180 turn here. Perfect. To change the altimeter setting, you can click down here under the altimeter. Okay. And then it's 299.7. Okay, so... All right, I'm going to adjust it here too, 299.7. All right, so we should be at uh, 2,000, almost almost 2,700. And we have 2,540. So you can use plus or minus um, to match both altitude and the bomb and your primary altimeter. All right, so we're flying right now 2,700, right there. There it is. Perfect. And our airspeed is actually pretty accurate. Yeah, we are uh, flying at 90, 98, 99. Let's see what we have here, 97, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty accurate right there. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. How do I adjust my V-speed? So I see that I'm almost on the red arc, but that's not, uh, that's not right. Uh, right, so uh, <laughs> you adjust your V-speed. For this airplane, if you go here on, on the menu, uh, and then settings, then you can put all your Vs. Okay, perfect. So let's see. So I have my VNE for this airplane is a 158. Uh, well, no, that's my, I was only put one, 182, so I'm going to put right here, 182, perfect. My VNO is going to be 146, 146, all right, perfect, and let's see, this is going to be, perhaps now, 127, and this one's going to be 50, and Perfect. Done. All right. So I see that I have uh, adjusted this. I'll, I think I put one wrong one. one. Right here, it's 95. All right. Perfect. Now I have my V-speeds all uh, set up. So what's next? Uh, 
for calibration? Is that all we have to do for the to calibrate the bomb? That's all. I mean, the required steps are number one, cage the horizon. Number two, uh, calibrate your AOA using a reference uh, airspeed indicator. And then you have minor adjustments, which are basically if needed. Okay. Okay, perfect. So technically, uh, if I go to my angle of attack and we do another slow flyoff, we want to about to uh, do a, a uh, if we get close to that airspeed, then we should get an angle of attack uh, warning, right? Should we try it? Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So we are clear here. All right. So what we're going to do again? We're, I'm going to slow down until. get to our white arc. Let me do some configuration here, settings. I put 95 here is 85. There it is. So angle of attack. All right, very nice. So let's do that. So in theory, and I have volume here so we can hear it as well. So we'll probably, uh, we might be, uh, the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Super wrong button. All right, so. Uh, this one right here, perfect. Now we should hear the angle of attack. I don't know if the cameras will be able to get the sound, but we'll see. All right, so now I'm on the white arc. I'm gonna put our flaps down. Perfect, now I'm gonna keep slowing down the airplane. Perfect, oh, why it's stopped? Let me just keep going. The screen recording just stopped. All right, so we are slowing down. Perfect. So we're gonna do a slow fly and we're about to reach our 53 mark. There it is. There's our angle of attack. Perfect. Yeah, I see the warning. I don't know if you guys can hear on the camera, but uh, there is a uh, loud noise coming from the, uh, the, the iPad. All right, perfect. Well, looks like it's working. All right, let's go back to our speed. Speed up a little bit. All right, I see it going back to yellow and then probably we'll go back to green. All right, we're gonna gain some speed here. Flaps are up. All right, so we have a bomb now fully configured. So we are 2,500 feet, uh, 86 on our uh, airspeed. So it looks like we are all calibrated. Yeah. So that's it. Pretty simple. <laughs> well, that is it to calibrate the bomb. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we are here to help any questions that you guys may have. Uh, we have a frequently asked question on our um, uh, website and if you have any questions or if you want to ask another other pilots what are they doing or how the installations are on their airplanes you can go to our Facebook page yeah um, um, one thing I wanted to add is that uh, if you let's say the calibration process you want to repeat it again because you didn't like it or whatever uh, it's always good to go to the general configuration page and do a restore default Perfect. because um, what happens is if you recalibrate the bomb on top of a calibration that was already there, uh, it will it can mess up the speed calibration. So if you're changing the bomb to a new airplane and redoing a, a AOA, always do restore defaults. And um, if you have any errors on the airspeed readout or the altitude do a restore defaults it will uh, like erase the offsets that's already there and everything will go back to factory defaults perfect all right well that's a quick advice for you so if you have any questions like i said feel free to reach out to us and until the next video bye bye